safety and security have ramped up to a whole new level at one of the biggest music festivals in Tennessee. Tonight, gates will open for the Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival. But as News Channel 5's Matthew Torres reports, officers are having to take extra steps more so than ever thanks to a powerful drug. It's another year of preparation for the biggest event in Manchester. It's a, it's a wild world. The Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival is close to selling out its 80,000 tickets, a first in several years. That means traffic is a bigger focus for Chief Mark Yoder. Getting them in and out of the festival is, is our, our main goal. But what else gets in on the farm is another worry. But there are also other concerns, especially with what type of drugs people might get their hands on. Just two weeks ago at a neighboring county, police there say two people overdosed on marijuana laced with fentanyl. And it is concerning and alarming. Fentanyl is a highly potent drug being abused amid the opioid crisis. It's been laced in heroin, meth, and pills. But a recreational drug like marijuana changes the game. That's pretty much the predominant drug here at Bonnaroo is marijuana. So we're taking a little extra precaution when just handling that. Fear of fentanyl in the area is changing how officers handle security at the festival this year. More aware and more steps for the nearly 300 personnel working any kind of powdery substance that they come across with or anything that they suspect that may be laced with anything, um, even marijuana now. Uh, we're having them glove up, um, put a mask on uh, when, they, when they get it. Unlike in years past, officers will now have a bigger access to Narcan, a nasal spray that quickly reverses an opioid overdose. 800 doses will be available. We'll have the ability to go and restock and have that in case somebody else needs it and we won't be out. Chief Yoder says over the years, the majority of guests have been good for the most part, letting music be the root of their fun. But nowadays, that includes being vigilant. We hope that they'll practice safety measures as well. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.